Welcome back to Firefly Studios. My name is Katia, and today we're going to continue with our Unity Fundamentals going into ray casting. So I've done a little bit of setup. I've got this character here. I set him up with some animation. He can move around, jump, and all that. And we will be using ray casting to make it so you can't jump in the air. So first, let's go over the concept of what a ray cast is. So a ray cast is essentially a line fired from a point. So let's say that this is our point right here. And then we fire a line for however long we want it to go in whatever direction we wish. And then we get told information if it hits something. So in this case, it has hit something. So we find out the point that it hit. In the case that we hit nothing, it'll look more like this. It, you'll have your same setup, and it'll keep going to however long you specify, and it'll send us a null back. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set it up. Let me draw an art bird right here. We're going to set it up. So if we have our player here, we want to detect if our player is on the ground, and only then, if we are on the ground, do we want to be able to jump. So we're going to fire a ray cast that goes down from our player to the ground. And we will use that to determine if we are on the ground and should we jump. So let's jump into it. Here's our movement script. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to just skip over all the movement code. I uh, will be making a video soon on movement. So we only care about our ground detection section here, and then our ground detection section down here. Alrighty, so our raycast, it requires, as per our diagram, a point to fire from. So the point that we're going to fire from is going to be a transform that is our foot. So in Unity, that is signified by this green thing here that I added to my foot. Then we need to know what do we want to hit. In our case, we're looking for the ground. So we'll make a layer mask for a ground. What this refers to is these layers that objects can belong in. You can add custom layers by clicking the add layer button. And I added one called ground. And then I went ahead and selected our ground object and made sure it was on the ground. Additionally, for a raycast to work, it needs to have a collider of some type. It doesn't matter if it's a trigger or a, a not trigger or not collider but it does need a collider. So after I got that all set up, then we can continue with our script. So what we do here is we've got a function that is going to return a bool. This is just going to be true or false. Did we hit the ground? We start off by making a raycast hit 2D. This is a variable that can hold the information of the thing that we hit. So in specifically in regards to a raycast. We're going to set that equal to physics2d.raycast, our position that we're firing our array from, the direction we want to fire it, how long we're firing it for, i.e. the length of our raycast, and then a mask. These are the four components to setting up a raycast. And then it returns true or false depending on if we hit something. Now we'll use that information in our update to say if we press the space button and we're on the ground, then we'll jump. So that's straightforward. Raycasts are pretty simple. I also set up this debug right here. This is slightly different. I'm going to copy it down here. Slightly different than the way you set up an actual raycast in that where it says your direction here in the normal raycast and then the next parameter is how long you want it to be in the debug statement you multiply the direction by the distance as opposed to specifying them as two separate parameters you also cannot specify a mask for a debug instead you can specify the color that you want your raycast to be the way i found this information because some of you might be thinking where would i just find this like how did you know this, is I use the Unity API. In order to do that, I just Googled Unity API Raycast 2D. And then this page has all the information 
and all the different possible parameters we can send in to a Raycast. Note that you can go have some of these parameters and not all of them. So in my case, I have the first four, and we skipped the last two. And this is a description of how it works, and here's an example. If you ever get stumped on code, I highly recommend using this API in order to help figure out what you're supposed to do. The way you can find out information about the object you hit, you would just do hit.transform.gameobject dot whatever you want it to access uh compare tag has a component name what have you this would be how you access information about the thing that you hit in our case though we don't need to do that so we're just going to return the did we hit something true or false all right so let's see how it works in game so if i press play let me just check that we still have that debug in there so see this red line right here in my play window? That's the Raycast. So right now, even with my walk animation, as you can see, there's always a part of the Raycast hitting the ground, meaning we can jump. However, if I'm in the air, it doesn't hit the ground. So even though I'm tapping spacebar, I can't keep jumping. But if I do it fast enough, if you notice, when the tip of the line hits the ground, sometimes you can kind of sneak in an extra height on your jump there. You can leave that in, or you can just shorten the length of your Raycast to address that. I hope you found this interesting. Next time we will be going into character movement, how to get your character to move and all that. And I hope you had a good uh, day. Please hit the subscribe and like buttons, and I'll catch you in the next one.